All right, so today is the last session before I compete at the Mid-American Weightlifting Championships. Oh, so, it's building up to my openers today. Uh, I'm gonna open up at 115 kilos on the snatch and 140 kilos on the clean and jerk. So, not doing too much uh, mobility work today. Um, my wrist, this is the one that if you remember a while back, if you've been following my little journey here. Um, I hurt this elbow a while back and then it kind of radiated to my wrist. So really I'm just gonna mobilize my wrist a little bit, hit a good little warm up, but when I'm going heavy like this, I, I really don't wanna hyper mobilize. I don't wanna lose any power output. So I wanna mobilize just enough to where I can maintain good positioning, but I don't wanna overdo it to where I lose power output. So getting my wrist mobile. Um, and really today is just about being aggressive with it. Um, I had an incident happen earlier today, which not a big deal, but um, kind of got me a little bit heated. So I'm gonna channel, channel that energy into today's session. I'm gonna hit it hard, be aggressive. And that's really it. This close to a meet, you don't really want to work on technique too much. Like there's not really any technique you're going to change. You know, I compete in three days. So it's not like my technique's really going to improve a whole lot from now to then. So today's focus is a lot less on the technical work and a lot more just being aggressive. Go. Confidence. So at 90 kilos, when I'm building up to a heavy single, I start to wear those knee sleeves. Now that my knees are warmed up properly, and then I gotta make a decision, either hit a single or a double. Um, since I already have kind of a, a sweat going, I'm pretty warm. So I'm probably just gonna hit it for a single. If I was still a little bit colder, needed to get a couple extra reps in to warm up, I'd probably hit this for a double. But let's just go, man. Rip it, hit it hard. All right, 100 kilos, threw on the competition plates. That way I can kind of visualize what it's gonna look like and feel like in comp. Let's go, boy. Come on, let's be aggressive here. Easy, come on. I mean, typically when we're this close to a one rep max, how to make smaller jumps. So right now I'm going from 100 to 110, which is a big jump. Um, however, in the back room, if, if my 100 moves that well, the, the same way it did last set, I'm not gonna waste energy. Let's, let's go, 110. Now, if I wasn't happy with the way 105 moved, let me just practice that. Sorry, if I'm not happy with the way 100 moved, let me just get one more practice rep at 105. Try to tighten it up. But I'm feeling good right now, I'm gonna let it ride. Let's go, boy. Let's go, boy. Stay tight. All 
I think this is the most underutilized tool by weightlifters. I'm not wasting energy, man. All right, here's my opener, 115. Hey, Allie. How you doing today? How are you? Good. It's good to see you. There it is, just the lady I want to see you right when I'm hitting my opener. Look at your haircut. Hey, coach. Hey, look good, feel good, right? Good. Feel good, lift good. How you doing, coach? Good. <laughs> nothing, there's nothing worse than when you're dry and someone's sweating yeah. and they hug you. It's like if we were both sweaty, that's a different story. Yeah, it's like whatever. <laughs> All right, let's hit it. Let's go, boy. Staying tight. I know. <laughs> you gotta stay focused. I'll take it though. I'll take it for today. So you probably saw I did not build up to 140 on clean and jerks. Um, Coach Emily saw the way I was moving. She told me to call it at 125. And I'm not mad at it, you know. It was it was moving well. Um, I didn't even have to use my belt yet on the clean and jerks. And um, so I feel like my body is, is pretty fresh right now. And we're just kind of ramping my nervous system back up. So last week I deloaded. This week... I hit a heavy front squat um, on Monday. Today's Wednesday, so I hit my opener on snatch and then relatively heavy on clean and jerk. Again, I was willing to build up to my opener, but uh, the, everyone has a coach for a reason, right? So Coach Emily told me to call it there. Um, I think she saw I was moving well, and at this point, it's not going to move any like better. <laughs> and if anything, it might, it might, uh, I might have just fatigued myself a little bit too much had I built up to my. Uh, my opener clean and jerk so we're gonna call it there and let's see what happens on Sunday I compete Sunday unfortunately I was hoping to go Saturday with uh, Chris but we're on Sunday so I guess we'll uh, fill you guys in after the comp peace <laughs>